Hello and welcome to the third devlog for the Equinox Hunt, a stealth rookalike king. We're gonna change a bit the devlogs and add patch notes. Basically, I'm gonna talk about design and community, my job, art, Mihai's job, code and unity, Marianne's jobs. Over three months. Well, right after the second devlog, we did some death meets in person since Mihai was in the country for two weeks. That was in May. And on the design part, we gather feedback on the problem that player can use a weapon in game. And now you will have some options to kill an enemy, but it won't be a gun. On our side, Mihai learned about animations and defense models. On Code and Unity side, Marianne researched and tested mockup functionality for Unity and Kinect. He added objectives and kind of side has functionality now for player and hunter. Some tech improvements and a few bugs fixed. On community side, our organization was behind the schedule, so we started to focus on what's important for the alpha build. So small upgrades to the YouTube channel like subtitles for videos and in the end we decided to go silent on social media till alpha is ready. In June, Mihai went back to the Netherlands and we got back to working from home. On the design side, we now have objectives that can be finished for the alpha map. The field of view is balanced and there are camera events in the beginning and ending of levels. Road changes for a mini tutorial before starting the true level. Shake screen changes because it was an earthquake before. Player speed change toward normal human. And the invisible walls at start and ending so you won't get up. On our side, we had idle resting running and enemy walking animations, new textures for ground, fence textures, floor texture, and box fixed for textures. Bandages will look like medkits in game, UI changes, and new stuff added like bandaging or pickup progression that is shown. On code, or Unity side, uh, Marianne looked into the implementations of animations in Unity. Hunters can shoot, but rocks. Uh, rocks and medkits and other objects are shown in the world. Events can be made. Uh, this is helpful for the level designer. And a big ass list of bugs are fixed. On the community side, Google form for alpha testers so that We'll focus on gameplay feedback and we'll know what people really want to say about the game. And we started to use screen to gift so that we can show cool gifts uh, for the game. A few are shown on the Discord server. And in July, on the design part, fences are now walls for the level and you can't leave the map in any way now. Walls weren't close enough to the doors and that was fixed. Beds as hiding spots, floors for every house, noise indicator, color changed to red because red means it's bad. Implemented texture for grass and dirt, balanced the player inventory for mini tutorial, the rocks, medkits and the health. Invisible walls for the forest inside the level and set the resin for houses with the assets that we had. Rooftops uh, added enemy packs, basically more enemies on the same path, some tree diversity, and a few scripted events for the mini tutorial, so the tutorial won't be so forced. On our side, Mihai did some UI smell changes, added house textures, doors textures, and a map uh, as object model and finally the last animations for alpha and new clothes for the hunter and character sadly they aren't shown in the video yet so, uh, you will see them in the alpha build hopefully on the code and unity side 
uh, we added shine for pickable items so that it will be easier to see them. Better in game lighting and now you can see your character in the shadows. A stamina system and the new changes to the UI. Sadly, the reactive sight area is replacing the flashlight in alpha due to technical problems and we don't want to rush the light system. Outline for alert the uh, states of enemies. Uh, sadly, um, they won't be seen as much because of the reactive sight area. That will be only for the alpha build till we fix the light problem. And an alpha ending screen. Of course, some major bugs are fixed too. Uh, on the community side, we decided to do patch notes as a devlog and on the business side, we filled everything that we needed to make a legal company. Basically, we're preparing for the Steam page. That's all for the past 3 months. Next, we're gonna focus on polishing the alpha build, mostly bug fixing and some small polish where we can. And the big news is that we're gonna release the alpha build for Discord members on 25 of this month. You only need to be a member on the Discord server and we'll send a mail to every user to accept the invitation for access to the build. And of course a big everyone notification. So check your mail on 25th, uh, the one connected to the Discord. But for the next devlog we're gonna talk about how the alpha went the Steam page and the trailer for it. Our next question will be, what do you think about this format with the page notes? Leave us some feedback in the comment section. Do you like it? Do you hate it? And well, that's all I can say for now. See you on the next devlog.